There's a little over 9,500 refugees in Syracuse. For them, one of the biggest struggles of coming to the United States is speaking English. Citrus TV reporter James Groh visited a few of the places that are helping refugees overcome the language barrier. Learning English is difficult. I'm sorry, I'm at work now, so maybe you will come later. So the city of Syracuse offers English conversation classes for adults at the Kinchin Library. Talk about uh, several uh, interesting topics uh, with uh, several friends and uh, uh, I can learn about uh, uh, the grammar. The goal of the class is to teach a conversational level of English. So for much of the class, they just talk and work through sentences. I know you would like to watch the, uh, the soccer game. And so far, the program has been successful. I feel uh, confidence uh, to talk with uh, English speakers. So while adults who want to learn English can come here to the Kinchin Library, students who struggle with English can come here to the White Branch Library. Students can get help from a group of volunteer tutors. Then they help us like write our essays. They even make us understand much better than we do in school. It's tough enough to learn a new language. It gets even trickier when you add school to the mix. Sometimes it's too hard. And for a bunch of non-native English speakers, you would think that the toughest subject is their English class. But actually, it's... Math, geometry, algebra. And the students came to the library naturally. They didn't respond to a certain program. Rather, the library found volunteers in a response to a growing after-school attendance. James Grow, Citrus TV News. Syracuse University also has an English Language Institute on its campus devoted to teaching English to its international students.